um, authorizing the, final, the filing of a formal application for a redevelopment assistance, assistance capital program grant, which is also known as a RACP grant, from the Commonwealth for $500,000 for the purpose of advancing the development of the Wellspan Health and Surgery Center project in North Cornwall Township. We have now four or five times, I'm going to say, served as the uh, applicant and passed through for a number of these redevelopment assistance capital program grants, um, probably two or three of them with Wellspan. Um, this is no different than that. It, it requires on our part just a few um, approvals of approvals like this, um, getting some documentation through to them, opinion, opinion of council, and so on. Uh, but Wellspan does all of the legwork and accounting and and pay. Yeah, if they need to pay. Right. And it doesn't affect our bond no. ratings or anything. No, it's not. It's not a borrowing. It's a grant. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion for a supportive resolution 10-7-2021-A for Wellspan uh, to acquire five hundred thousand dollars for a surgery center. I'll second. It's been moved and seconded. Any question or comment? Not all in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. So moved. Okay. Next, I have a purchase of service agreement regarding um, the election office. This is between the county and Patricia Nace of Grayson View Court, Sealands Grove, to provide um, as needed services to the election office. Uh, Mrs. Nace is a retired director from Snyder County, retired in 2019. Um, she assisted Northumberland County with some consulting in their office when they were replacing their uh, director or their chief clerk of elections and she did the same in Snyder County um, and both of the directors there were trained and sort of uh, given their wings and, and she hasn't needed to go back. She does have an existing contract still with Northumberland mm -hmm. but they've not asked her for any utilization of that recently. So um, I learned of Mrs. Nace through uh, one of the Snyder County Commissioners a few weeks ago, had a conversation with her. Uh, she is willing to help us and uh, essentially between now and election, as I have phrased it a few times, to keep the plates, keep the plates spinning. Um, we are still in the process of interviewing and, and looking for a new hire there. Uh, as you know, Mike Anderson, being just down the hall, has been willing to assist to ability to his best ability however he's the department head of domestic relations and so that doesn't give him a whole lot of extra time um, so I would ask for you to approve this contract with with Patricia Nace uh, it is for $60 per hour of, of help and uh, plus mileage to and from Sealance Grove I'll, I'm willing to make that motion Jamie if you promise me that we won't get our quit notice tomorrow morning <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, try not to offend this one, Jamie. Right. Am I, dry, am I driving them all out? Is that what it is? Uh, I make a motion that uh, we hire Miss Nace, is it? Yeah, Mrs. Nace. Yeah. Uh, at the rate of $60 an hour to uh, make sure we have an election in November. Second. We moved and seconded. Any discussion? If not, all in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. So moved. Uh, I have uh, disabled veteran exemption requests from uh, real estate property taxes. Brian White of Wits End Lane, Jonestown. Christopher Porter of Lambs Lane, Jonestown. Lucille Conahan of Route 72, Jonestown. And Ronald Winters of Meadow Lane, Myerstown. I'll make a motion to approve the veterans real estate tax exemption for 100% disabled veterans. I'll second the motion. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. Any questions, comments? Hearing none, all in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign, so moved. Okay, I have a, an application for hotel tax grant funding from Lebanon Valley Rails to Trails. Uh, John Wanger has submitted this application. This is for additional mowing equipment to maintain the trail, which, as you know, has a very high user count um, from both in and out of the county users. And um, what they are, there is, there already is a, a, a large farm tractor with a mower attachment. Um, this would give them more, this, this would be for an, an additional attachment that would give them more capability. Um, it is specific to the existing equipment they had, so they did have to shop for a specific brand and model. Um, they did some shopping around, ended up um, 
with plaster equipment offering to um, sell it at cost, at their cost, and also to provide the installation at their facility at no cost. Wow. What is, what is the retail on this? Uh, well, the $15,878 is the cost of the, of the piece of equipment. Um, minus, that's without install, that's just the, uh, the boom and rotary blade uh, attachment, the quick hitch, um, quick hitch for an additional head, the jack stand for the flail axe when it's in storage, and freight of $700. Wasn't the initial estimate like 60000 when they first put it out to bid? Or? Uh, they had, they were higher, it wasn't that high. It wasn't that high. It was still somewhere under 20000 but they oh, had two, okay. uh, two other uh, vendors who deal with this brand of equipment that had given them some numbers. So, uh, they are asking for a grant of $14,000 to purchase this rotary mower, um, and um, it will be, inter and again, interchangeable with the existing flail mower attachment. Uh, they're asking for you, they understand that the maximum grant for these is typically $10,000. They're asking you to, to waive that uh, for this particular grant, and uh, they are contributing $1,878.60 toward the purchase and we'll continue to provide the volunteer labor to operate the, the mower on the maintenance of the trail. So, as you know, they have a team of help that uh, maintains the volunteer mile, 15, uh, maybe maybe 17 miles of, at this point of, of mowing and, and tree removal and debris removal and everything they that goes do a along small with job. It's, it's an enormous amount of work. Yep. Motion? Um, I'll make a motion to approve a $14,000 funding request from the hotel tax grant to Lebanon Valley Rails to Charles to purchase a new mower. I'll second the motion. I moved and seconded that we make that allocation to LVRT. Any question or comment? If not all in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign, so ordered. Okay. And lastly, I have a. Uh, Request for a proclamation. I believe this filtered through Commissioner Ames for uh, the naming of John Stephen Crin Day on October 13th. Uh, and uh, John was a veteran of the Vietnam War, and I hope you had a chance to look over the whole mm -hmm. story there uh, from 1971. And October 13th was that fortunate date for that uh, aircraft crash. And remembrance, I suppose. I'll, I'll make a motion that we uh, adopt that proclamation in this man's honor. Second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded that we proclaim October 13th as John Stephen Crin Day. Any question or comment? All in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign, so moved. Okay. And uh, you have assessment appeals at 1.30. In between, you're going to head out for uh, some lunch with the Township Supervisors Convention. Yep. So, hey.